And here's the field in that 11th race. One is Mama's Prize, owned by Vernon Rick and Tim Barbary, Carmi, Illinois. Tex Moach trains with Andy Miller and the bike. Two, Streak of Spice, owned by Rodney Barnes and Larry Joe Hayes of Colorado. Barnes, the trainer with Brent Holland. Three, Lake Hills Doris, owned by Horseman's Fin Agency, Inc., by Premier Racing Stable Limited Liability Corporation of Illinois. Joel Smith trains and drives. Four, Juxtaposition, owned by Don Trilling, Gary Skirlock, Howard Zimmerman, all of Illinois. Skirlock trains, Sam Widger drives, this Grand Circuit winner of the Hoosier Philly Stake recently. Five, She's So Lovable, owned by Sport and Life Racing Stable of Cicero. Doug Hamilton, the trainer with Dave McGee. Six, Cherokee Classic, owned by Mike Tagg of Champaign. Derek Weatherell trains, and Bill Alanya will be up. Seven, Totally Effortless, owned by Equine Racing, Inc. Sam Lilly, James Couch, all of Illinois. Jerry Hansen, the trainer, with Tony Morgan. And eight, Fox Valley Chi-Town, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Tony Alanya, the trainer, Tony, will be driving. Eight fillies in the 11th race. And they are only four minutes from the gate. Short post, four minutes. Three-year-old fillies. At the post, the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Totally effortless rushes for Morgan between Phillies. Out quickly, juxtaposition on the inside. Streak of Spice away with them as that field races to the turn. Getting out for Mama's Prize. Five into the turn. Lake Hills Doris as they swing now toward the quarter mile mark with the lead. Totally effortless. Anthony Morgan on the outside. Juxtaposition continues to make her way toward the front. She's off the lead. Justin Eck. Third settled on the inside. Streak of Spice. Four uh, along the inside is Mama's Prize. Five as they reach the quarter, Lake Hills Doris. They're past that mark. They were there in 29 seconds, and now they're on the backstretch and juxtaposition. Controls the pace of this one. Widger has her on top as they enter the backstretch, racing toward the half-mile mark. Behind her, getting a trip now. Totally effortless is second. Third on the inside, down the backside. Streak of Spice. Mama's Prize, four. Lake Hills Doris is fifth as they reach the half-mile mark. Racing behind her, six as they race past that station as she's lovable. Seven on the outside, moving up is Fox Valley Chi-Town, and they wrap the half in 59-3. So off a leisurely half, juxtaposition not being tested yet up front. She has the lead, and she has it her way as she leads them past the draw gate. Second is totally effortless, racing on the outside, moving up. She's lovable, now third, racing fourth along the rail, streak of spice, five on the outside, Moving quickly is Fox Valley Chi-Town as they approach the three-quarter mile mark. Six buried along the rail. Andy Miller has a ton of filly. No place to use it is Mama's Prize racing seven on the outside as they reach the uh, top of the lane and turn for home will be Cherokee Classic. Three quarters in 131-2. And now they're in that final quarter mile. Top of the stretch. The leader down the lane, juxtaposition. And now the pace has quickened on the outside, trying to move up as they drive through the lane to the wire, doing it. She's lovable at juxtaposition to the wire. Juxtaposition, she's lovable. And it's juxtaposition by half a length. She's lovable second. Home third, totally effortless. It appeared to be streak of spice four, but that's a photo with Mama's prize. Six unofficially was Lake Hills Doris, Cherokee Classic, then Fox Valley Chi-Town. Moving into the winner's circle, on by Don Trilling, by Gary Skurlock, by Howard Zimmerman, trained by Skurlock, quarter million dollar winner last year, now with earnings at $170,000 this year, the leading money winning pacing two-year-old filly, and now three-year-old filly, State of Illinois, 1999 juxtaposition, Sammy Widger. Winning filly, a cold muffler daughter of Royal Rula by Walton Hanover, bred by Zimmerman, Missoula, and others. And the man at the head of that filly, Gary Skurlock of Newton, Illinois, has really done the job, especially with pacing fillies. Another banner year for Gary Skurlock.